Now, the general manager of the Ghana Bauxite Mining Company, J.K. Fang, says employees, particularly those of Chinese origin, are living in fear after violent demonstrations by some Ghanaian workers led to the destruction of properties and death threats on the life of the HR manager of the company. Uh, now, he said this during a visit by the Lands and Natural Resources Minister, Kweku Asuma Tremi. Uh, my colleague, Latif Idris, has been touring with the minister. Here's his report. In the background, you would find the residents of the human resource manager of the company that was touched by some aggrieved workers of the company. To my extreme left, you would find the SUV of the human resource manager that was also touched mm -hmm. during the violent agitation. Now, I would like us to get in the building and examine the extent of damage that the arson attack did to the residents of the human resource manager who we understand is still on the run now even before i enter i can find and see and feel under my foot the ceramic roofing that has completely caved in in the main building and that is what i'm stepping on if you hear the sound these are sounds of the ceramic tiles that came down after the arson attack. And I can still find some dead smoke still emanating from some portions of the building. If you get into the washroom and the toilet seat you would find is still standing. It's so far the only item that sustained the arson attack by the aggrieved workers of Ghana Bauxite Company who we understand were agitating because of what they describe as peanuts, what they receive at the end of the month in the name of salary. Now, according to the general manager of the Ghana Bauxite Company, the human resource manager is still on the run, uh, and even the workers who are present here still fear for their own lives because, according to him, the bad guys who he described as criminals are still loitering around and they do not know when these guys will pounce on them again. We are still wondering why this happened. And uh, their behavior is also beyond our imagination. Yeah. So if you go on strike, um, why you damage the company's properties. We believe that uh, the action is way beyond strike. It's criminal. The uh, the made uh, uh, their action is a uh, criminal. Yeah. So we want to make appeal to the government. These criminals should be brought to justice as soon as possible so that uh, we can uh, regain our confidence in Ghana. Have you been able to identify those who, whom you perceive to be criminals in this situation? Um, we are in the process of uh, correcting pictures and videos because uh, because of the situation, so all uh, most uh, all experts have been struggling to protect their their lives. So um, we have limited videos and pictures. Mm. Yeah. Where is the human resource officer? 
human resources officer uh, escaped yesterday because he had the information that uh, the workers are coming to attack him. So he escaped with his family members. And his bungalow was burned. His car was burned. Yeah, I don't know uh, his location, but uh, we have uh, frequent, yeah, frequent uh, uh, phone calls and uh, text message communications. Yeah, it's still not safe for him to return because these criminals are still there. Yeah, even the situation has has cooled down, but uh, we still feel unsafe to resume operation until these criminals are brought to justice. The salary negotiation is going on. It's not uh, final yet. So the result is not <laughs> has not come yet. So I don't I don't know why this behavior. Because uh, even the two parties cannot reach agreement. And the Labor, uh, Labor Commission is the way to go. That's the due process. Uh, previously, any demonstration, we would get some, some hint, so. you know, day, a day or two days before. Now, this time, it's, a, it's a totally a surprise. So the level of negotiation in terms of salaries, where did mm. you reach? Well, uh, it is between the agencies and the outsource uh, workers union. Yeah, they're they are asking. The information I got is that the the, the union asked for eighty percent. Yeah, but on uh, um, agency side, you know it's. Uh, the offered seven is meter, but uh, but yeah, but uh, some workers know that uh, uh, they can reach ten. Yeah, so that's that is something. Uh, that is the current situation. So you were not directly involved. Mm, no, because uh, they are outsourced workers. They have their employers. The Lands and Natural Resources Minister is visiting the Awaso. Uh, Ghana bauxite company after two days of violent agitation by some workers uh, that's led to the burning of three vehicles we have two SUVs and one pickup truck uh, were burnt as a result of that violent agitation and in the background you would find one of the SUVs that got burnt during the process uh, one other bus by the, owned by the Ghana Bauxite Company, uh, the windows have been smashed uh, beyond repairs, uh, bringing the numbers to four vehicles that were damaged as a result of uh, Monday and Tuesday's violent agitation that took place here in uh, Awaso Ghana Bauxite Company. You can tell that from the various media houses, the story when the stories are not coherent. Uh, one of your brothers even uh, last night was not happy the way I spoke to him because he said that the HR manager is being killed. And I said, I haven't gotten that. All that I've gotten was to the effect that his house is spent. So we want to verify before we speak to the media. But he didn't take kind to that. We are here, we've seen it all, that at least there was an attempt to burn. After burning this very HR house, there was an attempt to burn another house or two other houses where they destroyed some properties. There is no work going on, no operation going on. The police are on the ground. But what I would say is that Upon a cursory look, one can easily tell that there was no compliance with the Public Order Act. No notice was given to the police that on so-so-and-so date we would like to embark upon 
this demonstration and this is the route we take this is the course why we want to go on demonstration of course we all know that demonstration is an a, a, a particular position that our 1992 Republican Constitution guarantees. So it is their right which is enshrined in the national law. But one cannot easily explore that without going through the process laid down. We deem the demonstration to be illegal. Assuming that they have bent the entire place for purposes of salary to be upgraded. And then at the end of the day, it is upgraded. Salary is upgraded for you. Where do you work? Your offices, where would they sit? Sometimes we need to exercise restraint and jaw jaw to arrive at wherever we are supposed to be. Of course, it's been alleged that the management, one way or the other, the statement they were alleged to have made was not proper was not in good terms with what their demands seek to do and that might have caused them to do this. We said statement was put to management and they have denied it. So it meant that there is still room for negotiation. We appeal to all the workers of Bauxite, Bosai, to exercise optimum restraint in terms of such matters and deal with. The worst of it all is to go to the Labour Commission for them to uh, address the matter. So we crave the indulgence of the workers that mm -hmm. not again management also to comport themselves to see eye to eye with them. You know bauxite is very important mineral for Ghana. Our discussion with China largely hinges on bauxite. It is not all that we can unveil to the public now because discussions are ongoing. As I speak to you now, we have senior members of government going to China in respect of bauxite. Thank you. Uh, 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 having engaged uh, management of uh, bauxite uh, company, are you satisfied with what they told you concerning the conditions of service staff? Because some are paid as low as 300 to 50, 300. They are not uh, allowed to that, go that, to the that is, hospitals. That, that, is, that is why it takes to management and the workers were arranging to find a better solution for how long? to it. According to them, they have sat down recently and they were discussing this matter. They had not arrived at any uh, position. Then all of a sudden, this happened. I'm not going to be a judge in that circumstance, but I still see that negotiations in this circumstance have not closed, the doors are opened, we can still come back and deal with. However, those who took their laws into their hands and did what was not expected of them as we, ha we are witnessing, the law will pursue them. The agencies of the law will have to work assiduously to bring such people, such perpetrators of this crime, to book. Would government reconsider its shareholding agreement with the company, considering the fact that over the years the company has been consistent in declaring losses instead of profits? Uh, do you know how much government owns in this business? 20% shares. Yes. And do you know how much government owns in other businesses in terms of mines? 10%. Yes. So it tells you that this area is special. We have something down our sleeves and it will be unfolded in future. It will not take long at all. Look how many people are